So today we're finally doing a video that's so long overdue and as you can see I have the Miata parked in the middle of the garage. I have my buddy Rakeem over here. If you don't remember Rakeem, he did have the red RX-8 that I reviewed a couple years ago on the channel. But this video isn't about that. It's about this car right here and we're going to be boosting it. I have all the turbo components behind me and I have a bunch of boxes as well that I don't even remember what I ordered. I'm going to get to unboxing all the boxes soon. But as of now, like I said, I don't remember what I ordered. So let me go ahead. Actually, let me go ahead and show y'all what I have. Back here we have a Mazda Speed Miata Turbo. If you don't know what that is, here it is. I do have certain things I need to change out. Like they cut this little pipe off. And so I need to change that out. I'm not going to be changing out the filter because I don't really care. We just want to get the thing started. And then I'll probably clean this filter. And an inner cooler, a bunch of different piping, and a bunch of vacuum lines. I need to figure out where these go, but in these boxes, like I was saying, this is another inner cooler that may not fit with the with this piping, but I bought it anyways because one day I need to upgrade that. I have the Mega Squirt plug and play too. Uh don't know what that stuff is actually but this is actually a new clutch because the stock clutch is not rated for as much power that i would like to be running so i bought a six puck clutch and y'all will see that later on i believe this is to fix my ac but i don't know i'll just open these whenever we get to them but as of now we need to start taking all the fluids out of the car jack it up get all the fluids out and start with removing the intake and exhaust so let me go ahead and get started with that and uh stick your head out the one that makes some little spinny whooshy sounds huh? three four five six seven eight think it's good enough no nah. yeah, uh -uh. man that one pretty high <laughs> God, <laughs> man, it don't look like you have much cooling in there. Man, look, I'm about to show you what you do. No. <laughs> this is what you do right here. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta uh, take the cap off. Get some air going in right now. Yeah, huh? get some air flow going. Uh, hmm. Why are you cooling so? Come on. Clip? Oh, clip. Yeah, that's good cooling. That's a good cooling right there. Let me show you about the green cooling, y'all. I don't know yeah, that. Man. Green is for go fast. Green is for green apples. Green apples are better than red apples. Green apples better than red apples. Y'all believe it? Said no one. I don't believe it. <laughs> I used to believe it, but I don't believe it now. Man, green apples so sour. Yeah, they sour. I don't That's like disgusting. sour. I don't like all that sour. But get the green cooler, man. Man, that cooler is in good condition. And I put it in a dirty bucket. <laughs> but you want to pour it back in there? <laughs> I want to pour it back in there. <laughs> what is that? Like 17? The bolts. Uh, or a 20. It ain't, it ain't a 20, bro. A 20, no, it can't be. As y'all can 17, see. 17, yeah. As y'all can see. We don't have good, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, what you call that? I don't know. It's not hand-eye coordination. Intuition? No. Is uh I don't go to college. My I, I ain't got no tuition. All right, come on. Let's see if he gonna squeal. Squeal. Ouch. Ouch. Here we go. I knew he was gonna squeal. <laughs> Write it in the comments how many times y'all think he gonna squeal today. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow. I'm so
y'all don't know, if y'all kind of like us and lose the bolts sometimes, get you some tape and label everything. And then just put the bolts on top. Just make sure I don't know about to kick them. Oh, my bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is the EGR valve, or what used to be the EGR valve. And I, this end went to the exhaust manifold. And what I did was I ended up cutting it because it was so rusted off, I couldn't get the bolt off. And what, I'm gonna be deleting it anyway, so I figured why not just cut it. But yeah, since we cut that off of the manifold, now we can easily take the manifold off. And we left the downpipe connected to the manifold just because like, I feel like that would be easier just to pull it all up at once. But the mid pipe is disconnected, so that part of the exhaust is off. So whenever we go to change the clutch, we can easily drop the transmission because no exhaust will be in the way. So we just got back from lunch because we were starving and whatnot. And we actually changed out the AC condenser because not the condenser, the compressor, because my AC was not working, so I bought a new compressor and ended up changing that out, got that done, and we still have some AC lines falling or hanging under the car, and that's just because they're gonna be in the way whenever we get ready to drill the holes in the oil pan. So, next up we have to drill these holes in the oil pan, which is kind of like very tedious, but I feel confident in my skills, and we're about to get that done. And after we drill the hole, I do have this Mamba all return uh, fitting right here, but I don't have the tap for it. So all I can do right now is just drill the hole and then wait a couple days for the tap to come in and then tap it in. But while I have everything out, the clearance is easy to get my drill in. So I'm about to go ahead and get started with that. Now to show y'all, I have the hole patched up but I did drill a hole and like I told y'all before I can't tap it which is unfortunate because I won't be able to start the car today but after doing that I actually did went on ahead and did this and did not show y'all also right here I went on ahead and had to tap this little I don't know what it's called it's like an adapter that I have to run my oil feed from and it was a little adapter to make the oil pressure sensor, which is right here on the screen. I had to tap into that so I could actually feed the turbo with oil. And that was the little piece I ended up buying. And I'll leave a link in the description below so y'all can know exactly what piece that is in case you don't buy a full turbo kit. But that's where I am right now. Now we're about to reroute the coolant because uh, we wanna go ahead and get this done before it's dark. So I'm not actually gonna show y'all what I'm doing. But this, here's a rundown of it. We have the, this is on the back of the motor right now. And this goes to the heater core. This goes to the factory Mazda Speed Miata that I have, uh, I mean the Mazda Speed Miata Turbo. And we're basically gonna unbolt these two bolts from the back of the motor and replace it with this and run this. We're gonna relocate the thermostat and it's gonna go connect to this and then reroute all the way to the front of the car, which would, bring the coolant back to the radiator. So once we do that, then we're gonna end up buttoning things up as much as we can before it gets dark. And uh, I'm gonna try to show you a little something, but if I don't, then sorry about that. Just know we're trying to get this thing done. 